war. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Nice. Did you get a haircut? Hey, my turn, big guy. Let me just slide in here.
Hun. I'll just be a minute. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite. Codsworth. Enjoy your coffee, sir. Hunt? We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? Can't believe it's almost oh, home. Sounds like someone made a stick. Hey, Codsworth. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Codsworth. I'll be sweeping up the floors later. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. Hey, hon? Can you get the door? Whenever I answer, he just asks for you over and over. This afternoon, right here in the city, Boston's swatting sultans will swing for the fences. Led by Stone. Come on, just. Answer the door and he'll go away. Good morning. Vault Tech calling. Vault Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time, time being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Now I can't wait for the world to end. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see.
Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? Hey, hon. For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Nervous? Don't be. Everyone's gonna love the shit. Sean has been changed. Well, he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection. You heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We we're, uh, trying to get Hey, Codsworth. Sir? What? We seem to have lost what contact with our affiliate stations. coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, You two, follow me. God Come on. All. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Hey. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! We did it. We made hey it. Hey there. That was a nuke. We're okay. A goddamn nuke. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home, Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. We left a minute later. 
no, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. For you. You're safe now. Just this way, please. This way. Email and email. Sounds good. Step over to the table. Take a seat. Just step over to the table. This way, please. Uh, Welcome. thanks. Pick up a suit right what now? There. Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you. Hey, all right. It's down the hallway right follow there. Me. Excuse me. See? This way, please. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and Sir? father down in DC. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical hey, items hun. we have to get through first. It's gonna be okay, right? The vault suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. Why would Voltaire do this?
giant roaches. What the hell? should open this. Terminal should open this.
default door cycling sequence initiated. Please stand back. To the world. The world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? She can't be dead. She can't be. I'm in a dream. I'm in a bad dream. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid.
God damn it, tell me what's going on. 200 years? That's insane! A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house! And the car! The car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A hollow tape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, and I'm feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. Picking up hostile life. Peekaboo! house. Follow me! Codsworth. Sir, don't worry. My search protocols are on full alert. What's all this? Not this time. Ow. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front. 